For this next lesson, we're going to learn how to read the XML. So carrying on where we were, I'm going to pull this up, and we'll just work with it right here. So I know that I want to now open a document. So if I come down to Open Document, I will be able to open the document of whatever I wrote. So keeping in mind, it's Level Tutorial. So the name of it is Level Tutorial. And I'm going to type in .xml so it references it properly. The next thing I need to do is actually get a child. So I'm getting the child of this. So on success, I execute, and I need to get the name of the child. So the name of the child that I created, if we look, is called score. So if I were to type in score, I'm referencing the child of that. And then I need to get the value. So it's almost inverse of what we did before. So on success, I want to get the value of score. I also know that I want to concatenate because I want to have something that is similar to the other. So if I were to go to these two, I'm going to copy them because it's exactly what I want. I just need to drop them down. So if I take this display message and I'm going to drop it down on the Y to 100, I can take the written token And I'm going to feed my value into string 2. And I'm going to say, on success of getting the value, I want to create this or write it. I'm also going to go into here and make sure that I have some spaces so it's separated. Yep. And now what I want to do is I want to go to this to show. And then this is going to be the message. Now on this, what I can do is, with success of the document or saving it, I should be able to execute the opening of this document as well. So I'll rename this to read XML. Shorten it in because it's not as long. OK. So let's go ahead and trash the debugging. We'll drop this down. We're only interested in these two. So I'm going to press Control S, then Control G and jump into the game. So I shot one, I shot two, and now I shot three. And you can see up in the top left that I have an active and a written token that's been printed out to the display debug. So it's been successful in writing and reading the XML. This next part is actually going to reference an XML that may exist prior. To do this, we're going to go back into our graph XML custom that I showed earlier. And let's close all but that. So in this, I have a root, and it's saying that the sample int values for the tutorial. So it's within a child that has listing, and then inside of that we have score. And each one of these scores, which this is the index of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So imagine it being a high score. We could have a value of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So what I want to do is I want to reference this file and then print that out on the screen based on whatever index it is that I call. So we can go ahead and close this. And we're ready to actually start building the last string. So we want to open a document like before. So in that document, I want to grab the name graph. Actually, let me look at it again. So we want to grab the graph called graph underscore custom. XML got twisted around there and then we call this an XML as well So I'm going to open the document. I just showed you and I need to get the child So we have a child within that called listing 
And on success, I want to execute getting of that child. And now we use something called get child at. And this is how we query the index that I just told you about. So let's go ahead and choose index 4. So it's going to be a higher value. And we're going to say on success, I want to execute the name of that. And then the name inside of there was score. So the last thing that we need to do is get an attribute. So we're going to get the attribute of score at 4, which was called value. So on success, we execute and get the attribute value. And then what I want to do is, once again, grab these two, copy it, and concatenate so we can print it out. So we'll make this one 150 in the Y, so it's down just a little bit. And then we'll call this one custom XML value. And I want to take this value and put it into string 2. And I want to send the success into set. And then I want to output this to show the message, the debug string, with the same output. And now what I want to do is I want to take the show on this and execute to open that document after this has run its course. So I'm going to copy and paste this. We'll rename this one to XML Custom. So I'll press Control S. We'll bring this down just a little bit. Things just keep getting more and more complex. I'm going to press the debug. And I'm going to press Control G. I'll shoot once, twice, and three. And now you see that the token was written with everything custom, and it all went through, even on a complex graph where we have custom attributes on a whole index. So this has just been a short tutorial series on XML, and basically how you can use it to write, read, query custom attributes. And at the very beginning, we also learned how to basically make a kill counter that references a certain type of archetype within the level so then you can keep track of specific type of entity that has been engaged with.